I talked on yesterday's show about using this fall as a time to get back into shape or maybe even start a new workout routine. And now instead of simply just going to the gym, today we're going to focus on wellness. Sure, it's great to want that healthy figure, but it's also important to focus on having a good heart, low blood pressure, low cholesterol, and stamina. Walt, thank you for being on the show this morning. Thank you for this opportunity. I appreciate it. Well, it's wonderful having you here. And Walt, I know that that's part of your mission at the Pirate Wellness Center, to really focus on the wellness aspect. That's correct. Five years ago in August is when we opened. Mm -hmm. And at the time, we called it the Pirate Wellness Center. People said, why Pirate Wellness Center? And I said, well, the keys are filled with pirates born 200 years too late <laughs> to steal the line from Jimmy Buffett. Uh -huh. And the difference now between the pirates today and 200 years ago is back then they died of scurvy and a cutlass, and today it's heart disease and diabetes. So true. And, uh, you know, therefore our goal is to provide the tools for the residents of the keys to maintain a healthy lifestyle and get as much out of the keys as they can. Mm -hmm. So for that, we not we're not just a gym, we're not just a health center. We're an integrated facility that provides a broad range mm -hmm. uh, of, of services and equipment. Okay, let's talk about some of those services and equipment that you do provide. Sure, we've got all the standard equipment you would need at a gym. We've got free weights. We've got treadmills and. Uh, uh, bikes and recumbent, uh, you know, ellipticals and all mm -hmm. of that stuff. We've got Strive Strength Equipment, which is a circuit equipment that's the best in the world. Uh, along with that, we have an entire series of programs. During a winter month, we'll run as many as 40 classes a week. Mm -hmm. Yoga, step, Pilates, Zumba. We have uh, spin bikes. Uh, we'll do a boot camp. Mm -hmm. So we have a broad range of programs starting as early as 8 in the morning and going through till 6 or 7 at night. We have an enhanced fitness program for seniors over 50 that is aimed at taking uh, individuals who are deconditioned and bringing them back to a level of conditioning where they can begin to use the equipment throughout the rest of the gym. And that program runs for three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. I think it's about 9 o'clock in the morning, and that's a great, great program for anybody who has kind of realized they need to start getting back in shape. Mm -hmm. So uh, we've got over 20 professionals, wow. pers personal trainers do individual personal training. Uh, we've got an acupuncturist, doctor of acupuncture in Oriental Medicine, a chiropractor. We have a facility for... Uh, um, uh, rehab mm -hmm. uh, for people who have gone through accidents or injuries. So we, even though we're only about 8,000 square feet, we have all the facilities any individual need to meet their health needs. You absolutely do. That is a, a wide range of services that you offer. And now, would you have a fitness or kind of a health tip for our viewers this morning? Yeah, the advice I would give is that getting back in shape and becoming healthy again is not a sprint. It's not something you're going to do in a couple of weeks or a month or even two months. It's a change in lifestyle. You want to mix exercise, some cardiovascular, stretching, uh, diet, uh, uh, look at vitamins you need to take. You mix all those things in and you develop a new lifestyle. And what happens is you get in better shape and you lose some weight, you can do more. The more you can do, the better you feel, the, the fitter you become. So what you want to do is create an upward spiral where you know you lose weight, you get fitter, you can dive, fish, play golf, ski, whatever you want to do, and then the more you do that stuff, of course, the better shape you're going to get. So uh, look at it as a change of life, something you're doing for the rest of your life, and if you can avoid through fitness, you know, a lot of the diseases, heart disease, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes that debilitate many Americans, you're going to lead a long and healthy life, and again, that's what wellness is all about. Mm -hmm. And now, how do you help your clients stay motivated, though? Because it does take a while to see this change, like you just mentioned. Well, that, that's a really good point, B. One of the things we've strived is we have a fitness staff, front desk, fitness instructors, uh, instructors of the various classes. They all are on the same page. They're there not just to teach you, but to help you, to talk with you, when anybody joins, they come in and we give them two one-hour sessions with one of our staff 
to show them the equipment, to talk about their objectives. We suggest for many of them that they hire a personal trainer for maybe just a couple sessions so they really begin to focus on what they're trying to achieve. And then as we go along, we will work with the people. We'll have suggest people get into different classes, you know, try Zumba, try Pilates, try yoga, get on a spin bike. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, we sponsor a lot of races, uh, a lot of fitness events, uh, stand up paddle boarding, uh, you know, whatever we can do. We've even started doing some uh, yoga on paddle boards and Pilates on paddle boards to, to get, get a little different idea. So mm -hmm. it's all about keeping people stimulated. Mm -hmm. That variety, that sounds fun. Doesn't sound like exercise. No. <laughs> that, all should, right. should be. That's right. Thank you, Walt, for being uh, on the show this morning, for sharing all this information. All right. Thank you very much. I'm going to be right back after these messages. Please stay with me.